turns his nose up at the GP Dallas left deck list and says he's only going to play three Jason main deck, three Mind Sculpt, and no preordained. So, uh, but yeah, it's Shaheen's awesome. I, uh, just watching him play, and even though it went to, went to time and he drew last round, uh, I think he had a really good board position. He was playing against the run. But he apparently beat uh, Paul Blade several times. Every time. I mean, I, I can't imagine that he would be in you're, this situation without having our. You're not at 7 1 and 1. So, uh, I'm not sure what he lost to. I mean, that leads off with a column. Pair of Sea Chrome Coasts, uh, I believe, yeah. sends out a Squadron Hawk. Wall of Omens draws Shaheen in a card. Shaheen's deck is definitely much more about getting to the late game, getting there with bullets in the gun, yeah. and uh, then taking over. Yeah, he was talking about how, uh, how he had won the game from hitting somebody once with an ink moth nexus and proliferating with an invasion class. Yep, and just making sure that uh, his opponent's not doing anything. Preordained from Edgar sends two cards to the bottom, draws cold. Squadron Hawk flies over that wall. Now that the uh, the Hawk's on the board, that that wall's probably not going to do a whole lot. That was probably a two mana draw spell for yeah, Shaheen. Pretty much. It's a cycle the wall, <laughs> cycle it, and kind of end up with a little a little something extra, I guess. But the cool thing is, it does interact with Venser and makes uh, makes Venser's plus ability just a uh, like a Jace Bellerin. Oh, absolutely. And what's What's interesting is the tectonic edges, which the blue-white claw blade is able to fit in, and Shaheen is able to fit in because they're only running two colors. Yeah. They become very important in this matchup, and right. you've got to think that uh, Edgar is able to use them pretty aggressively on Shaheen's column ends. Right. Another squadron hawk is going to go fetch some more friends. And that tectonic edge is up. Shaheen's got a decision to make whether he wants to trade edge for edge or whether he's willing to play his next land and let that edge take out his colonnade. Yeah, we do know that Shaheen has two Jaces in hand. Um, at least and, two, because I saw at least two. So. And Edgar is, is happier about playing this game, staying in the early game a little mm -hmm. bit longer. He's, right. got, he's got more stuff to do. Right. Yep. And, uh, Looks like Shaheen double tectonic edges on Edgar's uh, Seacom post. Yeah, taking out all of his white sources. And so by activating those edges as soon as he plays it, right. he never gives up priority and never gives Edgar an opportunity to, to tech edge back. Exactly. Edgar manages to find a white source though and drop that sword. Shaheen's brought himself all the way back to turn three. There's another tech edge. Not gonna be able to take out that planes though. Tumble magnet comes down. That would be big to uh, keep that sword from being a factor. And there's Jace. Tap effects are just so strong against a deck that has, has equipment. It's not even worth Edgar trying to equip up because he knows that it's not going to. It's not going to get to hit. Basically, he's he's going to pay two mana to take a uh, counter off a tumble magnet. And there's a four mana destroy J spell. Yep. It looked a lot like J action. <laughs> and Edgar's just willing to. Go in and fight with some hawks. Right. Put on the Until Shaheen starts stopping that, he's yes. got he's got no reason to stop just hitting, hitting, hitting. And what do we have up there? That looks like uh, another Is mind another sculptor. Yeah, yep. Been, yeah. As he Edgar did. brainstorms and drops a colonnade. And uh, once again, Shaheen's willing to just pay for to make that Jace go away. And Edgar's coming out ahead on both of those. Right. Going first in this matchup, definitely important. 
Yeah, it definitely helped Edgar to just to get the two brainstorms out of it. And Shaheen's, Shaheen's played just as many Jaces, but no brainstorms. Yep, got nothing out of it. Shaheen drops that fifth land. He's holding a Sun Titan. Can't see what the rest of the hand is. I have to say it's pretty impressive to see so many lands on the uh, on the board after the double tectonic edge on what Yeah, four. when four of them hit the bin. When they both have a tectonic edge floating around right now. Edgar's only played the one, but Shaheen's seen three so far this game. Uh, you got to think that the colonnade is going to get taken down by yeah. that tech edge at some point. Preordain. Uh, Shaheen's down to 10 at this point. It's got to be. Uh, yeah, there, and there's a double, a double tech edge taking out. Looks like Colonnade and Sea Chrome Coast. Yeah. So Not much right. difference between the Sea Chrome Coast and the Glacial Fortress yeah. once they're on the board. Exactly. There's an island. And this is not the type of game that Shaheen wants to be playing. Shaheen wants to be up higher than four and five mana, and he's never gotten there. Both so it's a mana are, leak. Both players have double edge. A sun titan. Yep. And it's interesting that Edgar would choose to go after the colonnade and the sea chrome coast and not just take out the tectonic edge, leaving his colonnade right. safe. I think he wanted to see if he could control Shaheen's access to white. Right. Now he does have the Sun Titan in his hand, but uh, other than that, well, he's got another one, and he's going to go after, again, the Glacial Chasm. So he's got a lot of control over Shaheen's mana right now. Yeah, and conveniently, Shaheen does have Day of Judgment in his hand. Uh, and now it does not have double white. Yep. All the way down to eight. Going to drop to six here unless he's willing to start using some counters off of that tumble magnet, which you've got to think he's he's not quite there. I think probably next turn yeah. or he's going to hold it so that he can use it on the Celestial Colonnade. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, oh, he's going to equip up, and at that point it's worth taking, the, right. yeah, absolutely. taking that counter off. I think Edgar's got it, decided that it's time to start pushing that. There's another Squadron Hawk. Goes looking for the number four. You may see some nice sheen off of Edgar Flores's <laughs> deck. That is, in fact, a fully yeah. pimped out, fully foiled out he loves the foils. Call Blade deck. Yeah. He's very... Uh Big fan of the foils. Absolutely. Quite the opposite of me. I don't like foils. <laughs> <laughs> I like having them so I can trade them for uh, value. Those foil uh, foil cards do the same thing as their regular non <laughs> non foil counterpart. So. so now the scalding tarn from Shaheen is not finding that second. Yeah, not going to get him an extra white mana. Right and on. that's actually that's not not great for him. He's been pinged down far enough that. Uh, not excited about taking that extra point of damage. Right, Normally, you just go and get what you need. But right. Too bad Tundra is not legal. <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. Right, right. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we'll, we'll see what kind of uh, blue white list Shaheen brews up. <laughs> All right, and here comes that last Squadron Hawk. And at this point, Edgar is just pushing in here. But if Shaheen can find that second white source, he can really punish this. Yeah. As long as he can. Uh, he can resolve the uh, <laughs> the day of judgment. Edgar has we haven't seen what Edgar's got kind of holding up. There's a contagion clasp. That's uh, that's gonna take something. out a hawk. Yeah. But at this point, he's ready to use his last counter off that tumble magnet. He really wanted another land there so that he could activate the contagion clasp, get his get his tumble magnet back up so that he's not emptying it. Emptying yeah. it means that the proliferation just isn't going right. to do anything. So yeah, he has to... Uh, so three, did we get another sword there? Another sword? That's Edgar's second sword. Un unlike last round where we saw two decks that only ran one main deck sword, Edgar's still running the pair of swords. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think the, 
The sword's too good. And there's a spell just... pierce, and Shaheen's got to pick it up. Nothing to do. Yeah, that's uh, that's what happens when you see four tectonic edges between two players. Well, he <laughs> does. Know, and Shaheen that's, had that's the double just brainstorm, not, storm, right? Just not the sheen, not the 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 game that Shaheen wants, wants to play. Right? And Edgar being on the play, getting those two Jaces down, right. getting the brainstorms off, even though they didn't stick around. Shaheen yeah. was forced to run his Jaces right out there into him, yeah. get it knocked no, no out. Value, really, yeah. And so as we go to sideboarding, let's take a look and see what we've got. Uh, four flash freezes, four core firewalkers aren't going to do anything out of the board for Shaheen. Some stone rebuttals, possibly. Yep. And uh, we were talking with David Shields about yeah. Day of Judgment and how some people like to keep in that one Day of Judgment, the Cawblade Mirror. Do you think anything changes up when we uh, when we go into a Cawblade versus blue-white control? Um, I think, I mean, we saw right there how valuable Day of Judgment would have been it, for Shaheen. He could have gotten, have, right, absolutely. He could, have, could have cast it, but he just couldn't. Um, so I don't think that that's a bad card to have in this matchup. I know you're... Uh, you know, I guess not every situation is going to have four squadron hawks. Absolutely. On the board, but uh, you know, those if you can keep creatures off the board, those swords don't do anything. Uh, yeah, and I think that the type of deck that Shaheen is playing, mm -hmm. they isn't. Uh, it's it's one of those cards that is it's equal on both sides. But mm -hmm. Shaheen's deck really yeah. breaks that because he doesn't care about his guys. Right. Exactly. Any guy that he's dropping, especially now. The Wall of Omens just aren't all that impressive. Right. He does have the Frost Titan uh, and the Sun Titan, uh, but he is. Um, but once those come down, you're in the part of the game that he wants to right. be in. The days are to exactly. get you to that part of the game. Exactly. So yeah, I, I think there's no. I have no problem with uh, keeping a Day of Judgment. And actually, he could pull one in from the board. Yeah. He's also got two Divine Offerings that we've got to think are going to come in. Yeah, I think that they're pretty much there for the. Uh, for the opposing swords, and uh, I, I was just trying to see, but I, I was going to say tumble magnets, but Edgar doesn't run tumble magnets. <laughs> <laughs> so that, we've got three cards that want to come in. The two other cards in the board that we haven't talked about yet, there's two Stoic Rebuttals and two Into the Royals. Now, I don't think that either of those come in unless there's something you really want to pull out. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think the priority is the, uh, the Divine Offerings, and then um, possibly the Day of Judgment. Yeah. Now the question is, what comes out? Do you think that uh, the journey to nowhere is made? Yeah, because they're, I mean, do it, uh, I, yeah, I don't think the journeys are, are very good. I mean, you, you're going to remove, like, what, a squadron hawk? I think those are there for, for Lotus Cobras and, and things like that. Um, yeah, and Titans. Right, exactly. Get those off the board. I think, so I think probably what we'd see out of Shaheen mm -hmm. would be three cards in, three cards out. So we're thinking probably the Day of Judgment and the two Divine Offerings come in for the three Journey to Nowhere. That seems good. I, I like Into the Royal, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess I don't I don't know if I like it as much as... Uh, now, with Wall of Omens being essentially just a cantrip, mm -hmm. is that something that should if probably he wants come to out? make room, yeah, I kind of, I may, may shave off like a Wall of Omens or something, but then again, he does want to interact with Venser. Absolutely. And being able to, to get, you know, not just uh, blink an island. Rather now we're we're off to a start. Shaheen started with a glacial fortress, followed with a marsh flats. Edgar started with a celestial colonnade and on turn two preordains and finds an island. Not the turn two that Cobblade wants to run. Yeah. Tectonic edge from Shaheen. And interestingly, we noticed last game that going second in the tectonic edge battle actually makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Two mana should lead to one of Cobblade's signature plays. And there's a mana leak. And there's leak. a mana leak. Spell pierce back Answered up. by a spell pierce. Looks like he gets to go search. Let's see, Shaheen does not run spell pierce, it looks like. Nope. With the amount of actual counter magic that he runs, it might become superfluous. It's yeah. something that's nice to have access to, especially if you're Cobblade and you're going to have those fights, you're going to have those fights early, right, just and like you're going to be fighting right? about something that you're investing mana in. You want your spells to be very, very efficient. Right. Um, but Spell Pierce, as a card that really grinds down in how useful it is later in the game, right. 
and that's where Shaheen wants to get to. Yeah, Tumble very magnet diminishing comes returns down. there. So. Well, that's a nice, Makes that sword a lot less threatening. Exactly. Nice foil to a sword. But here goes Edgar with the first Jace. And um, did Shaheen miss a land drop? He did. Shaheen did. He searched out the planes to go searching for that. Doesn't seem all that excited about uh, again, missing land drop. Once yeah. again, Shaheen just not getting to the part of the game that he wants yeah, to be it's in. Yeah, really, really crummy. There's a, another Celestial Colonnade. There's a Squadron. Manalik from Shaheen. Does Edgar have another Spell Pierce or does he even care at this point? He's got an active case. Pass it back over. Figuring there's probably better things to fight about down the road. Right. So there's a... Uh, second Tectonic second Edge. Tectonic edge right. He does have Day, but he also has the Divine Offering for the Sword so as it yeah. comes down. Now, even though he has the Tumble Magnet there, you think you got to run it out. Looked like he may actually have a second Divine Offering. Yeah. Um, trying to take a look. I figure, yeah, it, just, it seems like why not conserve the tumble magnet, especially when he's a little bit um, behind right Another now. Another squadron hawk goes searching. Probably wants to conserve that tumble magnet for as long as possible. So I think the divine offerings are there for the swords. Uh, the tumble magnets can can obviously be a little more versatile and just tapping the creatures that. Certainly. Maybe they're only doing one, but it'll it'll conserve some life. Now you've got to think, Edgar's gotten off three or four activations of Jace, mm -hmm. and That's you know, is that pretty big, yeah. is that just Sheen's too far behind at this point? So now we're going to see this. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, does Edgar have a counter spell? Uh, oh, not a counter spell, but a they have judgment. Might as well drop the sword. Right, exactly. <laughs> While he can, why no not? No reason not to get that on the board. Right. The other thing that Tumble Magnet's great at is tapping down, activating colonnades or uh, Gideons that turn into dudes. So, yeah. not so for Divine Offering. Tectonic Edge takes out a Tectonic Edge. Edgar is definitely thinking about the colonnade plan. He's deep enough into his mana, he's getting to the part of the game that Shaheen wants to be playing while Shaheen's still sitting here playing. Yeah, the trying early to game. develop his board, yeah, like very early game. Board. There's an ever-flowing chalice for one. Kind of replaces that tectonic edge mana, but... But you don't want to be spending not mana to replace mana. That's doing, yeah. Not what he wants to be doing. Um, and there's a mana leak for uh, the Flores for that chalice. And Edgar has Edgar definitely cognizant here. of what part of the game... Shaheen wants to be playing and keeping him away from it. Yeah. And Edgar drops another colonnade. I think we are at a point where Jace has just done too much damage. Yeah. Edgar's up four or five cards, just Shaheen would have to. He's not gonna be able to huh? just lets it walk through. Right. Had the So there's a divine offering for the tumble man. Interesting. Yeah. Now with uh, with him having Tumble Magnet and Ever Flowing Chalice and Contagion Class, there certainly there certainly are targets for the Divine Offering. So Edgar equipped with the sword, then dropped at Jace Bellerin, drew a card, and uh, went in with the Hawk and the other Hawk with the sword, I think. Yeah. Yep. He conveniently covers up the creature with the sword. Well, he is. <laughs> and there's a day there's which, you know, it just isn't going to make it through. I, at this point, like, yeah, yeah Shaheen, that, he's got to pick it up at that point. Yeah, that's really, uh, it's really a shame because you want. I wanted to watch magic. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to watch 